What's going on, doozers? So, Mumbo made a thing. That's right. Doozer didn't. Mumbo did. But Mumbo didn't explain it. So, <laughs> it took me about an hour and a half to figure this contraption out. And I figured what I would do is, I'm not going to take credit for the video, but what I am going to do is explain this a little bit more in depth. And I will be linking his video, that way you can see his as well. By the way, guys, if you haven't been keeping up to date, hashtag save Mumbo, put it on Twitter. Um, he's going through some copyright stuff right now because of his intro, which is also why <laughs> Doozer isn't going to use intros any freaking more because I'm not dealing with that. Warner Chapel, suck. <laughs> so, right on to it. What is this thing and what does it do? Well, that's pretty easy. What we have is we have a book with 15 pages. If I go to page four, I hit done. I hit this button. I come over here and I can see that this third redstone light is active. Now, you're going to say again, Doozer, you've got page four. Why is number three active? Well, that's because page one is going to be an explanation of how this works. In fact, let's go ahead and do this. So page one is going to say, select the farm you want to turn on, then press the button. Done. So page one, doesn't matter. Page two, three, four, so on and so forth. This is expandable out to page 15. And that is one of the biggest keys to this one. Um, one of the biggest issues is that you have to have a book with 15 pages. You can't have one or two pages. It has to be 15 pages. Okay? Um, otherwise, the comparator doesn't work. So, we have a button here. Now, what happens is, is right now I have uh, farm, what would be in this one, farm four. If I change the page, you'll notice that this light now turns off. If I go back to page four, that turns on. So that lets you know if it's active or not. If I go to page six, farm is off. Light is off. And if I hit this button, now that farm is going to show as active. And it's a, it's a, it saves the state of the farm. So farm number four, or in this case, number three, is still active as well as this one. All right. So, how is this going to help you? Well, instead of having that monster control panel like we're all used to having, with this farm, with this lectern now, we can take a comparator reading off, we can have this book, and we can label it, you know, is this going to be our slime farm, is it our melon farm, pumpkin farm, iron farm, you name it, you can fill it out in the book, you can put it in, and then you can have it going off. But you're not limited to just farms. You could also use this to set up a brewing stands. Um, so you could have automatic potions coming out. You could also use this to select different items if you want them delivered to you. So there's a ton of uses for it. So let's get right into the build. The first thing you're going to want to start off with is a nice little platform. Okay, now the platform is going to be five across. And you can really set this up wherever you want to. Um, I just... I like this to be a little bit prettier. Um, there we go. Now, right here, we're going to knock this block out, and then we are going to put in a redstone lamp. Just like that. We're going to put our lectern, and we're going to put the book in the lectern. Okay? So as far as what the player is going to see, this is pretty much it. Um, now I'm going to go ahead and grab a button and I'm going to put the button right there. Okay. Now all the magic that's going to happen is going to happen from the back and it's going to start right here. So we're going to come out and on this block, we are going to put our comparator and that's where we're going to get our signal from. Two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 14, 14. Okay. So, our next step is that we have to get this signal out. So, what we're going to do is we're going to take redstone dust, and we are just going to run the signal 
straight out like that. Behind this block, we're going to do a repeater. And then we're going to put back up a little bit. Nope. There. There we go. We're going to put another block on top of the repeater. And then we're going to put a block in front of it. Okay. Now we're going to bring our redstone dust up all the way. We're going to put torches all the way across here. We're going to put another repeater. And then we're going to put a block on top of the torches. And then on top of this block, we are going to put another redstone torch. Okay, so that's that part of the encoder all done and dusted. Now what we're going to need to do is we're going to have to get a sticky piston. And we're going to use that sticky piston and we're going to put it right on top of all of these repeaters just like this. Okay, so that's where we stand right now. Now it's not really going to get that much more complicated. So we're going to get a cauldron. And we're going to get a water bucket. And on top of these sticky pistons, we are going to put a line of cauldrons. And then we are going to fill the cauldrons with water. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a block that drops. So in this case, we can use sand. Um, as long as whatever that block is, it can drop down. That's what you need. Oops. And we're going to put this on there too high. Just like that. All right. Now, a little bit trickier on this section is we are going to put in one right here where this redstone lamp is, we are going to need to put in an observer. So what we're going to do to do that, and it's got to be an observer, if you look over here, it's got to be an observer facing up, all right? So you want that redstone signal to poop down. So we need the redstone signal facing this way. And we know that with observers, grab one out here. Observers always put the redstone signal the direction you're looking. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put that there. And then we're going to put a row of observers. Go. We'll go ahead and get rid of that, and then we're going to put redstone dust right across these observers. And then we're going to do one, two, put in some temporary blocks, put in an observer. And then put in a sticky piston, just like that. All right. Now, running up from this, we are going to put in... Oops, I lost my torches. Quick. 
We're going to put a torch there on the button. We're going to put a block, torch, and a block. And what this is going to do is whenever I power this, that's going to cause this to do a block update. When it does the block update, it's going to run power straight down this line. Okay. So now the next part is going to get a little bit trickier. And if we come over here, we can see that we have a next circuit here is the actual decoder slash encoder. So let me grab a different color of wool here. We're going to use pink. And we're going to build this section right here. So this is the section that lets us know when we have a full item, okay? So what we're going to do, oh, I used pink already, all right. Blue, nope. Yep. So what I'm going to do is right here from, come on, nope. Yep. We're going to build this part of the circuit two out. And then what we're going to do is we are going to put in a comparator. Followed by a repeater. Now the comparator is going to be taking a reading off of the cauldrons when the cauldron is pushed up. So when this piston pushes up because we've selected that specific slot... This is going to read that cauldron, and then what it's going to do is it's going to check to see, hey, can I actually put a signal here? So then what we're, we're going to do is we're going to build a line straight down. Just like that. We're going to put in a repeater. We're going to run a redstone line straight across. Now, I forgot this block here you do have to knock out. Um, this first line is actually going to start there. Um, just This is actually sharing. I wish I had a, like, well, I do have purple. But what you're doing is this line is going to power this block, but this block can't power the repeater because it's on top. So the power is going to go through. It's going to hard power in here and start that chain. But then this repeater is going to be grabbing its signal from this line. So, now that we have that section done in, the next thing that we have to do, that's this circuit right here. Okay? So, this next circuit is actually going to be the circuit that gets the power over to the, um, to the lamps or to wherever it's going to. So, again, we're going to be looking for cauldrons. Okay, and we're also going to be looking for or here. Um, we're also going to be looking for that power. So we're going to come over here and we're going to come straight across. One, two, three, all the way. Just like that. We're going to put in our line of cauldrons again. And once again, we're going to fill them with water. And then what we're going to do is right up here, we are going to put in a line of repeaters. Okay. And then it's going to go repeaters into a block into a piston. And what we're going to do is we're going to dump in our sticky pistons facing down. And we are going to put in our block. Just like that. Okay. Now, the next section is going to be a little bit, uh, it's still complicated, but you're going to come like that with a temporary block, bust that block out.
come straight across and put in a comparator. Okay. Now off that comparator, I put in another block. Just like that. Okay. And this is where my design differs very, uh, a little bit, is I alternate my torches. And the reason I'm doing that is because when I'm going to get power out of this, I need to be able to get power here. And I need to be able to get power here. Because by doing that, I can branch my lines out and I don't have to worry about going all kinds of crazy trying to move everything around. Okay, so this just makes it a little bit cleaner. Um, it does make it a little bit bulkier, though. So that is something to keep in mind with this design. Let's get them all. Oh. All right, so that's the entire system all done, okay? So now let's see how this is going to work. When I select page two, that's going to send the circuit up into this piston. This piston is going to raise up. This comparator grabs a signal off of this cauldron. It powers this line. Now, because this block here isn't completing the circuit, this keeps the redstone lamp off, and this is off. Now, if I go ahead and hit the button, this piston pushes this block down, which now powers this line, which gives us the visual indicator that that farm is on. And again, because it's now turning off the circuit, it unlocks this torch, which powers this block. If I switch to page three, the visual signal here is off, but because I haven't updated this yet, this torch is also off. Okay, so again, if I turn it on, now that's going to light up. And so is that. If I turn it off, now they're both going to turn off. If I come over here to page two, now that lamp is lit. Okay, so that's the entire system all done, all finished. Um, again, this is not my design. This is Mumbo Jumbo's, but I wanted to give you a little bit of a tutorial on how to make it. Um, like I said, I spent an hour and a half trying to figure all, actually most of it was right here. Um, this section right here, um, that and the book again, I mean the book, the book needs to have 15 pages, very important 15 pages. Um, if you don't have 15 pages, you end up switching to page three and then four to eight are set and it's just a nightmare. So I hope this helps you guys. Again, take a look over at Mambo Jumbo. If you're already a subscriber, awesome. If you're not and you like these types of videos, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button. Um, it definitely helps the channel. If you want to get more notifications, go ahead and tap the bell icon. That'll notify you. But there's a little trick to that bell icon I just found. Just because you hit that bell icon doesn't mean you're going to get a notification. You also need to like the video. Um, it's a recent change in YouTube's, the way YouTube works. So if you do want notifications, click the bell icon, but also like the video, and it helps the channel. Guys, this is Diamond Doozer, and I'm out!